Little Squirt by Paul Jennings. Inside the toilet, five boys were peeing into the air to see how high they could get. They're having a competition before the athletics start. My big brother Sam is winning, as usual. No one can pee as high as he can. I go red in the face when I see them. Come on, weasel, he said. Have a go. Oh, don't want to have a go, really. It's embarrassing, and I'm not that good at it. He's asking me on purpose. He wants to make a fool of myself again. Yeah, say all the others. Come on, weasel, don't be a wimp. Oh, it's awful. They're all jeering at me. I'll have to be into it. I undo my fly and have a try. I'm so nervous that only a little dribble comes out. They all laugh at me, mock. Weak, they yell. My brother Sam is the worst of the lot. Poor weasel's a little squirt, he says. They all crack up and laugh like mad. We go out to athletics practice. I'm in the 100 metres, and so is Sam. Next week, it'll be the big runoff to see who's the fastest boy in school. Today's just a tryout. How I wish I could win. I'd do anything to beat my brother Sam. But my heart is heavy inside. He's better than me at everything. He's smarter than me. He's better looking than me. He's taller than me. He's tougher than me. He can beat me at anything you care to name. We crouch down at the starting line. I'll wait for you at the end, wimp, jeers Sam. That's if you get there at all. The other boys are looking on. How I'd love to beat Sam. I don't even care if I'm not the winner, just as long as I beat Sam. He's always showing off. He's always making me feel like a wimp. Mr. Hendricks has the starter's gun in his hand. My knees are starting to wobble. I'm so nervous. This is not even the real race when the whole school will be watching. It's just a practice. Bang! We're off. I get away to a good start. I'm already ahead by a couple of metres. Suddenly, everything seems to go right. My legs whir. I romp along easily. My breath is steady. I look behind and Sam seems to be in trouble. I'm in front and he's second. I'm nearly up to the finish line. For the first time in my life, I'm going to beat him at something. I grin as I approach the string. But I grin too soon. Sam flashes by me so quickly, I can't believe it. He's beaten me again. I feel terrible. I try not to let tears show in my eyes. Sam is jumping around and showing off. He holds his hands over his head like a boxer. I hung back on purpose, he jeers. Thought you had me, didn't you, wimp? He says. He gloats and shows off all the way home. The other boys join in and tease me. Walk sadly along behind them. Try not to listen. Next Tuesday is the real race. I'll never be able to beat Sam in that. I'll be too nervous. I'm just not good enough. Sam goes off for the others to explore the big forest. They won't let me go with them. You'll only get lost, says Sam. Tears are in my eyes as I reach home. I try to dry them before Mum notices, but once again I fail. What's the matter, Weasel? says Mum. Sam, I yell. He always wins at everything. Every time he beats me. He can even tie his shoelaces faster than me. I'd love to beat him at something, just once. Today it was running. He won the 100 metres again. He always wins. Next Tuesday is the grand final. Mum bends down, puts her arm around me. Listen, Weasel, she says. There's one way you can win at anything. I used to be a champion runner, you know. This is the first time that I hear about Mum being a champion runner. I look at her, waiting to learn the secret. You train, she says. You practice. Every minute, every day. Sam never trains. He's lazy. If you train every day, you can beat him. He just wins because he's bigger than you. Mum could be right. I decide to give it a go. I get up early in the morning and I train. I train at recess. I train at lunchtime. I train after school. I train in the hot weather and I train when it's cold. I get better and better. Especially on the cold days. It's hard work. It's not easy, but I'm determined to beat Sam. No one has ever trained as hard as I do. Mum would be proud of me if she could see how hard I train, but I do it in secret. I'm going to surprise Sam. No one's going to expect me to win. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Tuesday comes at last. This is it. This is my big chance. All my training is going to pay off. It's cold, so I wear my thick jumper to school. Walk into the toilets where Sam and the boys are having the grand final. There they're seeing which boy in the school will be the grand champion at peeing in the air. Give me a go, I say. They laugh and jeer and call me a squirt, but I don't care. I've been trained for this all week. Boy, do I squirt. I pee higher than anyone in the world has ever done. Higher than my head. The kids' eyes bug out with admiration. Whoa, they yell. Sam, however, does not admire me. He's as mad as a hatter. He blows his top and hits the roof. 
but not in the same way that I do.